this she is in her glory. She is dirty as hell. I got pollen. I got dirt. I got everything all over that bike. <laughs> I've been actually riding it for a few weeks now. And we're just going to talk about how happy I am with uh, how it turned out. Well, I got to say, the best thing about this makeover was the suspension. It's a world of difference compared to what I had as far as Harley Davidson stock suspension. Now granted, the suspension I replaced on this bike was Harley Davidson, you know, original suspension. And as far as I know, it's never been changed or upgraded or anything like that. And had about 80,000 miles on it. But with the new progressive monotubes in the front, and the drag specialty shocks in the rear wow that's all i can say is wow it took me oh i don't know three four rides to get the rear shocks tuned in properly but now dude i don't know man for the money i would go with the suspension setup here the monotubes in the front and the drag specialty shocks in the back now if you have you know quite a bit of money to put into suspension parts then I would go with the progressive uh, rear shocks I forget the name of them right now because they're about 800 bucks though and it was just way out of my budget this build as it was went way over what I had budget for and a lot of that has to do with the uh, powder coating that's what really pulled me over I'm just glad my spouse was understanding with that and actually she's the one that pretty much push me to get the uh, chrome stuff powder coated but in the end you can see it was well worth it well worth to get the bike done professionally as far as the powder coat well a I don't have the experience B I don't have the facilities or the tools required to do powder coating so I'm glad I had it done the way I did it am I happy with the color absolutely I like green it's not my favorite color but it is one of the colors that, you know, I like. And this uh, Money Green Pearl came out really nice. <laughs> Better than I ever thought I'd be able to get it. Being that it was my first time using a spray gun, cheap one at that, and getting it, you know, to look as good as it does. Now, if you watch the series, you know a few of these parts I had to redo. Like this fairing I had to redo and uh, a couple of things i was not happy with how they turned out granted it was my first time spraying with a uh, spray gun and you know there was a learning curve there so took some time to get used to and get the adjustments correctly and whatnot the only thing i did not do was upgrade the turn signals to leds i don't know i, I might do that in the future the way i feel about the led turn signals I can live with them or without them. It, it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, I like LEDs. I think they're more responsive. I put out a ton of light. And uh, I don't know. I might upgrade it in the future. I mean, that's the only thing I got left to upgrade to LEDs. The bag lights in the back that I'm using for brake lights and turn signals. Those are uh, LEDs. I switched the rear brake light, the OEM brake light, to uh, LED. I don't know. But hey. I'm very happy with this thing. I'm happy with how it turned out. It looks really good. It was a lot of work, man. A lot of work, but it looks fantastic. I'm going to leave you here. I'm going for a ride. I'll catch you all later. But yeah, loving the suspension. So glad I upgraded it. Take care. God bless. Ride safe. Bye-bye.